Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I wanted to do an update this week for you and we have quite a few things to get through. I'm going to save my rings until later and I will go through these two for you. So if you didn't know, I have been using my cousin from the beginning of the year and Initially, it was uh, planner stuff, you know, kind of like day-to-day -day planning, to-do lists, schedule, notes, that type of thing. Um, but I stopped doing that and then I was just using the monthly for planning. I do love all the space on this monthly. It's so nice to have the bigger boxes compared to the personal size ones. But it just wasn't working. I then was just using the weekly and I just memory keep in the weekly pages just what we've done, what we've gotten up to, that sort of thing and then I do track uh, gratitude as well at the top of the boxes and then also important events right at the top as well um, I'll show you so important events go here just so that I can keep a little bit of a record and then I have gratitude and then I just start with the memory keeping so at this moment, I am still doing that in here, but I'm not sure how long that will last. Um, I have tried these past few days journaling in here using the daily pages. So doing, you know, a.m. p.m. in the morning and in the evening and just writing down a few little things. And I have I think I've done I've only managed three days Um because I just don't, for whatever reason, I just don't like journaling in here, in the daily pages. So I have just ordered a pocket notebook off Amazon that should be coming later today. And I'm going to try journal in that, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use the weekly pages in here or not. So I'll keep you updated on that. And I am not using my Stalogy anymore either. Uh, I can show you what I was doing. So this is from the other year and then we get to an index page and towards the end of July I was hoping to use this for weekly pages and daily pages but I only lasted a day for that and then I went to lists and goals, someday maybe a list, just all that kind of stuff and then I was doing book notes as well in here from a self-help book that I was using and then it was just journal pages uh, so I set it up for August this is from SM plans a little goal sticky note more journaling and notes pages from the book um, my kids did some drawing as well and then from then on I just found myself using this for journaling. I didn't really reach for most of the notes pages so this is just all filled up with journaling and there is a picture from my little boy as well in there which he did me. Um, but yeah, using this to journal in the daily pages and then this for memory keeping in the weeks was just a bit too, it was just too much. I didn't want, I don't want two notebooks to do journaling in. Um, I can barely keep up with one. So something changed, had to change. So that's when I decided to get the pocket notebook. So I will show you that next week if I, in, um, yeah, if I like it. So for now, I'm not using this and I am just using the weekly pages in here. So that means that I have moved my lists and notes back into my rings. So let's get started. I have um, just same sort of stuff in here, stickers and things in here. And then the freebie again from SM Plans. I did add a few little decor pieces back in as well, so I will show you them. So I did add this little card here and then this one just for a little bit of cuteness, uh, my pictures and stuff. And then I have my brain dump and to do's at the front, which I kept there. I kept a trigger list there as well. And then 
more cuteness and then I added my list section in here. So, so far I've just got my wish list, someday maybe list and then a learning list. I did just pop these Filofax to-do inserts in here so that I can transfer some of my lists onto there. Then I have the gift planner in here and then it starts with the notes pages. Um, I've got a little daily routine on a sticky note and then this is just notebook paper that I ripped out. And then I go to Stalogy paper in here just because I can have a little bit of a chunk and it doesn't take up that much room. So I've been using that for notes. I have kids drawings. Again, just a little added cuteness from my kids or from my stash, what I found. And then I have the monthly pages here. So you can see the sort of size difference between the personal size and the Hobonichi here, so the cousin. Um, these boxes are just so tiny, I do really hate the size of them. Uh, but there's nothing much, I don't want to fold out, so there's nothing much else that I can do with personal rings. So it's fine, it's not a big deal. I have until the end of the year in there. I am starting to need my 2024 pages, so I need to keep a look out for which ones I want to do for my monthly for next year. Then I have my week, so these are just Peanuts Planico. Oh, my monthly is from SM Plans. These weeks are just from Peanuts Planico. And yeah, they're just getting the job done. Purely functional inserts there. I have these little um, gloomies, which I thought were so cute. And it was just a digital download that I got. And I have the notebook ones, which I thought were super, super cute. Then I have my little inbox sticky notes dashboard here and then you go into my dailies which I'm still really enjoying. And I do have all of July in here and then enough pages for the rest of August as well. Um, you can see that even when I was using the Stalogy for that daily, I still did a daily in here as well. Um, I figured out pretty quickly that I didn't enjoy it. That was just today, and then here is today. Like I said, I have enough for the rest of the month. Then I have a couple of pages of notebook paper here. It's just got a summer bucket list and some doodles from my kiddos. Again, with another one of these... They're so cute. And this was a sticker that I've just, I haven't peeled it off. So uh, it's just stuck with washi tape. Then I have my little cleaning tracker for August, which I have finally filled out now. More pictures. And then this is my little section. So I've got bucket list, memory sheet, my reading stuff. And then trackers, so I've got gratitude, and then uh, this is May on the other side, and then June and July here for my tracker. And then just some more cuteness, pictures that my kiddos have drawn. And then I have body measurements, weight log. Uh, my cycle tracker and then all my health logs which are from Peanuts Planico. Then I have my little fitness section. Um, so this has changed a little bit as well. August here, my trackers and I'm actually doing a little workout program so I have printed that off and popped that in here. Workout tracker um, and then journaling prompts at the back. Some more cuteness and pictures. Then it just gets into my kiddos section. I do need to add 
to this section before school starts next month. But I still have a few weeks to do that. So that will be changing a little bit. And then just my pocket at the back, which hasn't changed. All these pockets are all still the same. Just pictures and then a few little stickers and cuteness there. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I can't wait to get the pocket notebook later on today, hopefully. And I will show you that next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.